A long time ago, our people lived in Sky World. We call them Sky People, and Sky World was a place of everlasting life. In Sky World stood a shining celestial tree that resembled a wild cherry. This is the tree of life. Sky Woman lived in this place. Her name was Ojitsizum, which means mature flower. Her uncle was Rade Zerunjas, Sky Chief. He is the overseer of the heavens. One day he asked Sky Woman to go get water. He asked her to make three trips. He told her not to stop and not to speak to anyone. On her third trip, she met a lacrosse player and he asked her if she would give him a drink. The Sky Chief learned that she disobeyed him. He was upset with the lacrosse player and banished him from Sky World. But he forgave Sky Woman. Sky Woman had a craving for a root, and she asked Sky Chief to dig some of the roots up for her. He dug a hole at the base of the Tree of Life, which caused it to be uprooted. Sky Woman was curious and looked into the hole, and when she did, she fell into the hole. As she fell, she grabbed strawberries. As she was falling, the lacrosse player came to break her fall. After leaving Sky World, he transformed into a meteor. He picked her up and carried her down to the Earth's upper atmosphere. Then the geese saw her as she was falling, and they carried her on their wings. It was the great turtle that came to the surface and said to the geese, On my shell, you will place her. All of the water animals came to greet. She said to the animals, It is earth that I need to be able to live. The beaver volunteered to die and bring up some earth and he failed. Then the otter volunteered to dive and bring up some earth, and he also fails. It was the muskrat that succeeded in bringing up the earth in his paw for her. As she shuffles on the back of the great turtle, the earth expands rapidly. Sowing the seeds of survival, cultivating the seeds of consciousness, and harvesting the hope for humanity.
Back at this time here, these leaders were magicians. They had spiritual energy and powers you don't even understand. So we have a society of doctors that's probably as old as that time. And in there, it says they could communicate even with the smallest insects. So it's right in line with our culture. We have actually songs where our ancestors were communicating with the smallest of creatures. Some believe the turtle is what held Earth for a little while. And it may still be under the Earth. <laughs> so Turtle Island, that's where I come from. There are stories about it. So so I think, and, and also like the turtles, they're significant in our culture. We need turtles for our ceremony. We have rattles made with them. Um, even sometimes they're part of our ceremonial costume, the smaller rattles and things, right? And we also use them when we're planting. There's another kind of turtle for that song, those seed song. So the turtle is very significant in our culture.
เนี่ยนี่ ตัวมาเดนยัตสนีก็เลกนิควิโอเขาเอาตัดเนี่ยตอนนั้นก็นี่ก็เกหอนก็เกหอนนี่ก็สวัสดิ์ตะซอตอนนี้แกก็ยี